So we were working on our watercolor paintings of our orchids. So we were painting the main colors last time with our with our watercolor paint. We were painting everything. Um, the only thing we weren't doing was adding in these fine little detailed lines. Um, so we are going to add those detailed lines in this time and we are actually going to use colored pencil to get those little tiny lines in there. So um, you're going to start with your artwork and you're going to very carefully use a colored pencil to add in those lines and remember when you're using a colored pencil not all of your lines have to be dark lines you can press lightly to get some light lines started and then press harder where the lines need to be darker so maybe and the edges of some of them it's a little darker and I might press a little harder or inside the in, in this inside edge it's a little lighter so I'm gonna look back and forth between my orchid picture and my painting that I did and I'm gonna work on adding in all of those fine little details of my orchid so I want you to go ahead and do the same thing add those detailed lines in for your orchid and make sure that you're looking at your orchid and you're drawing the details like you see them don't just make up a design because it won't look as realistic then we want it to look like your real orchids so really concentrate on making sure you're getting all those details especially if your design of your orchid is part of its adaptation that we talked about because some of the orchids the design that they have for their petals is a really important part of their adaptations that help them survive so make sure you're really looking at them and getting as many details as you can on your orchids In this area I can see 
in this area I can see that I don't have so many lines to draw but maybe it needs to have a little bit of shading in there. So I'm going to actually take my pencil and very carefully and lightly add just a little bit of shading to just kind of give it a little bit of that coloring in there that it needed. Again, I'm doing it very lightly and controlled. I'm being very careful that I'm not pressing hard and I'm not scribbling in all different directions. I'm coloring in the same direction that the petal is going. I'm giving it that color in there that it needs. I think I'm going to do the same thing some of the shadow areas around here that I need to add some pencil um, shadows in because they're not quite dark enough in my original one. So I'm going to add a little bit of shadow. Again, I'm going to be very careful that I'm not outlining it. I'm just coloring in the shadows very lightly and carefully. I want to be able to see the color, the watercolor paint that I did through the pencil so that I can get some of that color in there and it's not just a black shadow. I want a little bit of the color from the petal in there too. So it looks like a shadow on the petal instead of a black outline. This one actually has a little bit of a shadow on the petal itself. So I'm going to add a little bit of a shadow on there. working with my pencil to draw those lines. 